here is an outline of this presentation. First we'll look at the bigger picture of the IB Diploma program and we'll see how the physics course fits into it. Then we'll see what's the difference between standard and higher level. The next step will be an overview of the curriculum model. Then we'll list the physics topics studied during the course. After that, you'll find out more about the lab work that needs to be carried out during the course. Next, a few words about the so-called Group 4 project. Then you'll find out more about internal assessment and external assessment. At the end, you'll see how your final IB Physics grade is calculated. Just one quick remark before moving on. This presentation refers to the syllabus introduced in 2007 and for which the first examination was held in May 2009. The IB Physics course is part of the IB Diploma program. For more general information about the International Baccalaureate, visit their website at ibo.org. What is the IB Diploma program? It is a rigorous pre-university course of study. It is a two-year course and is divided into six academic areas and a central core, the hexagon. The physics course belongs to group four academic area called experimental sciences. Physics, chemistry and biology are some of the group four subjects. Each IB diploma student has to take one science it is possible to take two subjects from Group 4. Physics can be studied either at standard level or higher level. The difference is that at higher level the subject is studied in greater depth and breadth than at standard level. In other words, if you take physics at higher level, you'll cover more material and some of the topics covered are a little more demanding than those studied in the standard level course. The recommended total number of teaching hours is 150 for standard level and 240 for higher level. This includes the theory, the practical work and the group for project. The curriculum is structured as follows. All students study a core syllabus. In addition, Students at higher level study additional higher level material, AHL for short. All students have to study two options. All students participate in a collaborative project called the Group 4 project. All students are required to spend a number of hours doing practical work. Here is a visual representation of the curriculum order for standard level. And this one for higher level. What physics topics are covered during the course? Here is an outline of what is covered in the standard level course. And this is a list of topics covered in the higher level course. Approximately one quarter of the course should consist of practical work. More precisely, at standard level, the students are expected to spend around 40 hours doing practical investigations. At higher level, the students are expected to spend around 60 hours in the lab. The figures quoted here include the 10-hour Group 4 project. Group 4 project is a 10-hour project on a scientific or technological topic that involves students from all Group 4 subjects. The student's assessment has two components. Internal assessment, which refers to the coursework assessed by the teacher throughout the course, and external assessment, which refers to the official IB examinations taken at the end of the two-year course.
The internal assessment, IA for short, refers mainly to the practical work done by the student and assessed by the teacher according to a set of clearly defined criteria. Not all practical work is internally assessed. Your internal assessment grade makes 24% of your final IB physics result. In order to ensure that the teacher's grading is of an appropriate standard, sample work is sent away to an external moderator for remarking. When the teacher is either too lenient or too harsh in his or her marking, the internal assessment grades submitted to the IBO are adjusted accordingly. There are a number of five criteria used in internal assessment. They are design, D, data collection and processing, DCP, conclusion and evaluation, CE, manipulative skills, MS, and personal skills, PS. Here are more details about each of the five criteria. The first three criteria have to be assessed at least twice during the course. The two best results are considered for the final IA grade. When a criterion is assessed, you get a grade on a scale from 0 to 6. Manipulative skills criterion is assessed summatively over the whole course. The personal skills criterion is assessed once during the group for project. The internal assessment grade can be anywhere between 0 and a maximum of 48 points. The final IB exam consists of three papers. Paper 1 consists of multiple choice questions. Paper 2 covers the core material for standard level students and the core and the advanced higher level material for higher level students. Paper 3 consists of questions from the two options studied. Now let's have a closer look to each of the papers. For standard level, Paper 1 consists of a number of 30 multiple choice questions and it has a duration of 45 minutes. The use of calculators is not allowed for this paper. Paper 2 consists of two sections, Section A and Section B. All questions in Section A are compulsory. In Section B you have to answer one question from a choice of three. The choice is yours. All you have to do is to indicate the question answered on the exam cover sheet. The paper is one hour and 15 minutes long. Paper 3 consists of questions in each of the two options studied. The exam paper contains questions on all available options. It is recommended that you attempt to answer the questions in the two options studied in class. However, if you decide to study a different option by yourself, that is possible. All you have to do is to indicate on the exam cover sheet the two options you answered. The exam is one hour long. At higher level, the picture is quite similar. Your final IB physics grade combines your internal assessment score with your examination results. Here is a quick visual representation of how your final result is calculated. First, for standard level. And now for higher level. And now a couple of closing remarks. Most of the important formulae used during the course are available in a data booklet. The booklet is produced by the IBO and you will be provided with a clean copy of it during each of the three examinations. Essential information about the IB physics course can be found in the physics guidebook produced by the IBO. Ask your teacher for more details.